Welcome to the Big Braid Show. I'm your host, Mr. Big Braids, coming to you live from a reservation somewhere. Take a look at BTC and the rest of the market. We got sales price action across the board, calling it a workers' market out here. We got a lot of jobs out there, so <laughs> I mean, there's so many jobs going on out here. If you don't like your job, you can basically, you know, <laughs> demand a raise or get out there and uh, find a better one these days because there's people just don't want to get out there and <laughs> put those applications in upgrade <laughs> but you know more more for the best of us i guess but we got btc at amazing price action we got inflation you know we got uh, you know got it up there about 9.1 percent is that definitely gonna affect the market we still haven't got that uh, broken out of that downward trend. We just got the sideways action, got the setup for a bearish flag, and when that bearish flag starts posting up, we're definitely out here lurking for some lower price action. That ten thousand, I got that on the table. Was that just wishful thinking? But you know, I'm definitely out here waiting for it. <laughs> we've hit all the other sales price action on the way down since November. We've been talking about this dip, so it's no surprise. It's you know, I mean. Loving that sales price action across the board. We got a lot of people out there talking badly about, oh yeah, crypto this, crypto that. Bring that price down. <laughs> Keep bringing that price down because, you know, Mr. Big Braves loves those sales. And we got sales price action across the market. We got Gala coming out. Five cents NKN, eleven cents getting some love. We had NKN at eight cents just the other day, and we got a, geez, a you know get some love out there. Let's take a look at the NKN chart here. Just want to do a quick video on this Saturday night. I don't know everybody's probably out there having fun, enjoying the uh, outdoor life. I hope because we got you know we still got COVID out there. We still got a lot of talk talk of COVID. It's peeking its head out there. We got BA five definitely affecting the market. So we got a lot of coins coming up on those tight squeezes, and as you could tell, you know I was talking about these last few weeks there's a few coins that are just basically following with that btc pattern we got some coins going into that uh you know that short squeeze up to that 786 area on that uh short term time frame and then we get some pull back down to that lower price section so i hope everybody's you know getting a piece of that action and uh getting creative out there and making that money so we got nkn at you know just just under 12 cents we get xlm at 11 cents lcx making its way up towards that eight cents we had lcx holding for quite some time could possibly be trying to break out of that sideways action i've been definitely excited to, to see where lcx is going loving that accumulation across the board i got this 10 cents up there as far as uh getting out of that downward trend making that upward <laughs> that upward trend to the upside, getting that bullish action to the upside so until we get over that 10 cents and i you know until we see btc starts making some you know some definite moves to the upside we had uh you know everybody talking about rallies to the upside but you know at this point <laughs> we're still under that correction status i mean if you really watch the charts daily we got the news talk you know telling everybody oh yeah we're having rallies but then the next day it's like oh man you know what today the news is just is just horrible and that's why the stocks <laughs> but you know we got corrections we, we go up and down daily and it's just something to get used to so at this point we've been getting some sideways action amazing price action across the board and uh but you always got to remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on the market only and you always got to do what's right for you so get lcx at point oh seven six one people still buying out there you know everybody's still getting some good position <laughs> a lot of long term is out there a lot of long term wallets everybody's worried about those bitcoin miners what, what are they going to do so i'm talking about with the inflation you know everything's costing the jet fuel is costing the cost to uh mine is up there the cost of food's going up there so you know i'm definitely out here looking for some lower price action but i've definitely got my eyes open for those you know those money makers then so uh you know we got this you know russia ukraine scenario still affecting the market so as far as uh, seeing some awesome action to the upside, you know, I just got that wishful thinking out there. Definitely got to get, get some peace on the table out there and get back to making this money because, you know, but you did get us some awesome price action. Got that price lowered for, you know, everyday average buy buyers made the market affordable across the board. And uh, for everybody that's holding out their long term, you know, everybody's, you know, going short term. But for those of us that are patient, that are willing to wait that 10 years, you know, that 10, 15 years and get that generational wealth created. Well, then. And, you know, <laughs> that's that's my game plan, and that's the plan I'm sticking to. So, 
We got LCX at 0.0763. We got Bandies coming in at $1.41. We got Manic at 73 cents. We'll get back to the regular sets on Monday. I'm definitely excited to see where we're going into uh, the Sunday. Are we going to have a bloody Sunday? Are we going to have some movement on Monday at the opening? Definitely excited to see where we're going with that price action. ETC getting back up there close to the 20s again. We got one inch at 66 cents. Uh, let's take a look at we got uh, the Dow Jones, as you can tell, got some back up on that. You know, we got 658 points and uh, getting that sideways action. Are we going to be starting to create that bearish flag or are we going to start making some movement up to the upside on the regular market? We still haven't broke out of that downward trend as well. Everybody's calling rally. So until I start seeing Dow Jones back up over 33,111. I'm, you know, definitely out here looking for that lower price action. <laughs> so keep an eye on that price action and keep an eye on the news, you know, D-Y-O-R. Make sure you're doing your own research. You know, you got to keep, <laughs> make, sure you, make sure you know where your money's going. We got ADA at 45 cents, amazing price action. We got Gala coming in under 5 cents. I'm definitely excited to see where we're going with that price action into the next year. Two years, NKN's been getting some love. Made it up there just under 12 cents. XLM, I'm still waiting for that 7 cents. You know, don't tease me with a good time. <laughs> so we got LCX coming under 8 cents. Jasmine still getting those double O digits and that more bane for your buck on, on the dollar. I got APE coming in at 472. Definitely loving that accumulation on APE. Definitely excited to see where Snoop Dogg's going to take that. <laughs> with that, uh, we got uh, Dr. Bombay running the road as far as that. I mean, that's the only one I see out there as far as APE and leading the way. So definitely excited to see where that price action is going on APE. Lowest I've seen it. And, you know, we've seen where AP, APE can go. And it's got a lot of, you know, advertising as well. And uh, <laughs> definitely excited project. We got ASM back over two cents. IOTIX coming in at three cents. So, you know, we got a good, good price action still across the market. You know, a lot of these price action is way under the price action that we were talking about back in October. We were trying to hope for some lower prices, you know, down a few cents. And now we're down <laughs> quite a bit. And the accumulation is amazing. So we got Doge coming at just under seven cents. Uh, keep and, and use. Get a little bit of love out there. Let's take a look at Keep. A few of the projects you got to keep an eye on because when they get moving, they get moving. So <laughs> it's been getting that sideways action. And, uh, you know, taking a look at some decent recovery, we definitely get back over that 35 cents at the 786 on that long term time frame and start making some movement to the upside. OGN, I have to get my eyes on OGN. We got 21 cents. Definite amazing price action on OGN. Luna, I don't even, I'm not even, I, I'm just not even looking that way at the moment. We got AVT making some tracks. AVT <laughs> still holding strong, but holding that uh, above dollar fifty price for quite some time. And uh, loving the accumulation across the board on YF. They have AVT. Definitely excited to see where we're going with that price action. Definitely going to get over that 203. Grab some support consolidation. Start making some movement up towards that $4. And then start making some tracks to the upside. So I'm not, I'm definitely not letting AVT get away like QNT did, you know, a few years back. So AVT is coming at an amazing price action. Coming at $1.62. Hope everybody got that dollar when we had the chance. But, uh, you know, so... <laughs> Definitely love that accumulation cross board on AVT. We got Mona coming in at 1174. Definitely got my eyes on uh, MONA, uh, making some tracks to the upside. I, you know, I'm definitely excited to see where we're gonna go with this price action because these 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 coins here, YFII, AVT, those lower currency coins, definitely got some. You know, I I got I'm looking for some high points. I'm definitely excited to see where we're going. You know, when this start when we get when the bull market starts hitting. Definitely working, <laughs> waiting for some popcorn and watching that price action go up to the upside. Uh, could be an exciting day. So, uh, but just want to do a quick run through with the price action across the board. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. I'll be back here on Monday and uh, we'll go through the price action and see what, <laughs> see how the opening goes for the week. Definitely excited to see where we're going with that. And uh, might drop in a few more uh, videos throughout the uh, afternoons through the week just to get some random stuff. So taking a little break on the weekend. Uh, uh, definitely, you know, we'd enjoy getting some price action for you on the regular. Uh, I definitely got to get, uh, let's see, we got to throw in JUP for, for for my homie DZ. I don't know he wants that JUP. Where did that go? Let's take a look at that. JUP, where we at? All right, JUP coming at 0.0146. Still has it broke out of that downtrend as well. Still holding above that, just underneath that support at 0.0147. So as far as seeing some movement to the upside, we get over that. 0.0147, grab some support consolidation, make our way up to that 0.0177 and start working on that breakout action. I got that breakout action to the upside at 0.0271. If we do start getting some dippy action, we got to keep an eye on that 618 at 0.0118. And if we lose that price action, we definitely got to keep an eye on that 786 at 007. If we lose that 007, 
Definitely got my eyes on that 002 for some amazing accumulation price action on JUP or Bane for your buck action. So I definitely got my eyes on that, on that price action. So uh, there you go, DZ. And, uh, you know, across the board, we got to, you know, get back to the regular set on Monday. We'll get some more uh, <laughs> charts up and, uh, you know, keep an eye on that price action for everybody. So for everybody and all the coins we talked about tonight, good luck. And you always got to remember this is not financial advice. These are my views and opinions on the market only. And you always got to do what's right for you. So you always have a good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good night. Mr. Big Braids is signing now.